Hi everyone, it's September 16, 2018. To those who have left comments recently asking me to stop saying what I say about Trump, that he is a puppet, that he is part of the deep state, sorry. Um, I very often, I don't know if I do it 100% of the time, but I have said that if I am wrong about Trump and he is actually on the side of good, oh, and he's just playing strategic chess trying to take down the deep state, I will be the first to post a video with my face, not, you know, a, a video like this. I will say that I was wrong. But it is my deep belief that Trump is no different than any of them, and he is playing. He is playing his base. Um, I want you to listen to just 26 seconds of this video. Would anybody like to make a statement? Couple Mr. Of years President, ago. Yes, sir. on the asset forfeiture, we got a state senator in Texas that was, was talking about introducing legislation to require conviction before we could receive that forfeiture Can money. Believe that? And I told him that the cartel would build a monument to him in Mexico if he could get that legislation. Who's the state back. senator? Do you want to hear his name? We'll destroy his career. <laughs> Did you hear that? So a state senator wanted to introduce legislation in Texas to allow only conviction to receive that asset forfeiture monies and property from the convicted felon. That is the kind of legislation that we need. But Trump thinks we should destroy that senator's career. Now, you're going to tell me that that was a joke? You don't think that Trump has gone after people to destroy them? Listen to it again, please. <laughs> Would anybody like to make a statement? A couple Mr. of years President, ago. Yes, sir. On the asset forfeiture, we got a state senator in Texas that was, was talking about introducing legislation to require conviction before we can receive that forfeiture can money. You believe that? Can you believe that? Oh my God. Require conviction before our local enforcement steals your money and your property. Innocent before proven guilty, right? No. What we have is asset forfeiture, and the police are, and it's local, state, and federal law enforcement. They are stealing money and property from Americans. And throughout the years that I've been on YouTube, wow, I have posted a lot of videos on asset forfeiture, even... Um, Oh, God, what was the Attorney General's name? Obama, after Eric Holder. Jesus, I cannot. I see her face. I can't think of her name. She was big into asset forfeiture in New York. And, wow, she stole about a billion dollars from Americans at New Yorkers. Asset forfeiture. There are so many Americans who are getting screwed and having their lives destroyed through asset forfeiture. It is a piece of legislation that allows law enforcement to steal. It makes robbery legal for law enforcement. And many of those who are innocent and are proven innocent, then whether or not the law enforcement agency that took their monies and or property, whether or not they get it back, well, it's always a, that remains to be seen. But this is Trump's response. Can you believe it? Can you believe that a state senator actually wants to protect Americans. And I told him that the cartel would build a monument to him in Mexico if he could get that legislation. Who's the state senator? 
You want to give his name? We'll destroy his career. <laughs> That's the guy you support? Really? I don't know how to get through to Americans in terms of we need we need our ordinary Americans and those who work for government and our quote-unquote leaders to actually demonstrate moral behavior oh I don't mean speak it I mean demonstrate it and that is the demonstration right here this guy he demonstrates immoral behavior all the time but you support him you know many have claimed that Hurricane Florence is a distraction and they're uh, noting what Florence was distracting from the California fires uh, and other things. I I agree that events are distractions, but at the same time they're not distractions because these events are also um, staged so that they can implement their agendas. Today we have so much going on at, at, simultaneously that it is hard to really grasp it all. So Florence, while it one of the things that it has done is traumatize an awful lot in Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, that's part of their agenda. They want us terrorized and traumatized. And in fact, I'm going to read a comment that I got from a subscriber and it was brilliant. Um, and I don't want to spend much time on it because it deserves its own video talking about this in depth. In my humble opinion, this kind of behavior in our overall society is very much like being in a narcissistic family complete with an over um, with an overt narc dad Trump Republicans covert narc mom Hillary Democrats and their enabling flying monkeys I don't know what MIC is uh, but mainstream media and all of their you know useful idiots and their uh, government officials running around implementing the agenda of the narcissistic mommy and daddy and I would put the uh, narc dad and narc mom in the puppet category of the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the uh, Zionists, the Jesuits. No, it's not just one. One thing, one thing that you can say about the evil out there, evil people, they will put aside their insignificant differences to achieve their goals. So it's not just one particular group doing all of this. You, you think about um, you think about the Rockefellers, you think about the Rothschilds who have established the United Nations, the NGOs, all of these uh, green groups and uh, 350.org, all, all of these groups that are working for, the, you know, the climate change, global warming regulations, they, they have all been orchestrated by the Rockefellers, which I'm going to post a video on that, but so they, they, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, these people with enormous amounts of money have been able to get flying monkeys all over the world to achieve their agenda. Meanwhile, average everyday Americans are the abused children, most being confused and in denial 
divided and fighting among each other as a result of the gaslighting and triangulation. Those of us who care about the truth and finding answers, we're the scapegoats because how dare we suggest something is wrong with our family. Brilliant. It's a, it, it, it's the, wow. To get that observation, I will, and I'm making a presumption because I don't know this subscriber or this commenter. In fact, oh, Janie, I'm not even sure I have seen a comment from you, but they, as far as I'm concerned, this is my assessment. You need to do work on your own unresolved issues as an adult. Resolve the issues from your childhood so that you can bump up your consciousness. And that allows you, you, you get on a higher road. And what happens is you then have a whole different view of those walking the lower road. And you can see very clearly the bigger picture of what we are dealing with. And yes, we are dealing with Americans as abused children who just never, ever grow up. And when you don't grow up, it was Scott Peck in his People of the Lie book that I have posted many videos on, but that was Kafka Winston World. Um, you know, abused children as adults, they really mark their growing up when they can hold accountable their own mommy and daddy for what they did wrong. If you can't get to that place of holding mommy and daddy accountable, regardless of how mommy and daddy respond, but if you can't yourself come out of the denial and hold accountable those who harmed you, you will remain a child. You will never mature. And I believe that we are facing the majority of Americans in that condition. They cannot hold anyone accountable for fear of being abandoned, fear of losing mommy and daddy, fear of being you know, yelled at by their own um, friends, family, co-workers, whomever. They fear being punished. And when you are an adult and you fear being punished, you are a child. And we have a lot of children. And no matter the crumbs thrown and understand, psychopaths, narcissists, ooh, when they want their narcissistic supply, and when they have an agenda, and the means to the end requires throwing out crumbs, they'll do it. So for all of those who say Trump has done so much for Americans, first of all, get out of your self-centeredness. We, we've got an individual self-centeredness and a collective self-centeredness. And so many Americans only care about Americans. Do you know what this guy is doing overseas? Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit of that. But... Um, they're crumbs. He's playing you like Obama played his base, like George Bush played his base, like Clinton paid, played his base. It's no different. The game is the same. And unfortunately, now, all of those who understood that all of the reports about the economy it was all a lie throughout the Obama years. 
now they're Trump supporters and they can't see through the lies. You've got to stop stop um, defending personalities. That is that is absolutely a characteristic of walking the low road. You're about personality instead of principle. You defend personalities instead of defending the truth. So I don't support anyone. I support the truth and I defend the truth. And when liars are caught lying, I will expose it. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's Obama or Trump or anyone else. Because if you're not guided by the truth, you're still on the low road. He wants to destroy this guy's career because this guy in Texas, the state senator, actually wanted to help Americans. He wanted to protect them from law enforcement stealing their money and their property, but he wants to destroy their career. This is no one to support. This is yet another psychopathic, narcissistic lowlife. Sorry. Uh, he's a liar, and so many still support liars. I don't see how they do it, but they do it. This guy, just like all of the others before him, he showed you immediately after winning the election that he lied to you. So during his campaign, He's attacking Hillary Clinton. He is attacking the Clintons. He's saying that they're corrupt, that they need to be investigated, that they need to be in jail. And then right after he wins the election, his first interview, he's talking about how good the Clintons are. Now, when I posted videos on that, what do I hear? It's, it, he's brilliant, Carol. He, this is, you know, his way of playing brilliant chess. It's, strate it's a strategic move. Just wait and see. How long do we wait and see, Americans, before we begin to think differently and act differently and change ourselves? So... You know, if he wanted to make America great again, there were very simple things that he could have done. He could have worked to get uh, Glass-Steagall Act restored to put some stability back into our banking system. Did he do that? No. And Glass-Steagall Act was the, it separated commercial banking from investment banking. Smith-Munt Act. He could have, instead of just riling up his base. CNN, fake news, fake news, fake news. He could have restored the smith Month Act. Hell, he could have done it by executive order. Executive order, as far as I'm concerned, these executive orders of the president, it makes the president a king. They are so grossly unconstitutional, but we have come to accept them. So why didn't he immediately restore Glass-Steagall and then write an executive order making it illegal to use propaganda against the American people? But he didn't do that. No, instead, he just comes out and constantly talks about fake news. Well, I believe that that is part of the play to get Americans so confused that they just don't know where to go, who to trust. Uh, this guy, he's reporting on the hurricane. The worst it's ever going to be. Uh, due process. Oh, boy. 
he could have restored our due process rights, those rights that made Americans different from every other people in the world, different throughout history. Due process. Destroyed by Obama when he signed New Year's Eve 2011-2012, was it? Am I right on those years? Yeah, New Year's Eve, I'm going to sign away Americans' due process rights. Oh, and then when there is, you know, some controversy when Americans finally sober up from New Year's Eve, I'll just say, I won't use it. And that was good enough for Americans. Did he do anything about that? No. Trump? No. So, and he continues to sign these National Defense Authorization Acts that continue to leave us with no due process rights. If he wanted to make America great again, he would be enforcing the Constitution. And he does not do that. If he wanted to make America great again, he would be focusing on the children. And he would have immediately established that Vaccine Safety Commission. He would make an executive order that said, no state, because we don't have the Tenth Amendment anymore. We don't have that, hey, states, United States, okay? Uh, and originally, United was a little U, not a capital U. The little U meant United States. So each state had their own sovereign power, and the federal government was very, very limited well, you know, what has manifested is a completely different country. And the federal government has been able to centralize its power, and the states have no power anymore. Well, he could have, uh, hell, let me just sign an executive order giving back the state powers. Giving back the states their power. He didn't do that. Um, Posse comitatus. He could have brought back posse comitatus. Posse comitatus that prohibited the military from any involvement in local law enforcement or domestic law enforcement. Did he do that? No. He would have immediately brought back standards, educational standards in our public schools that actually worked decades ago. Instead, he was campaigning, claiming Common Core. We're getting rid of it. We get nothing has happened with Common Core. So you want to make America great again? Bring back the health of our children and bring back you know, the educational system that we once had that actually did you know, uh, produce you know, generations of children that could actually think, critically think. He could be working to get rid of GMOs. He's not doing anything in terms of making America great again. Everything remains in place that makes America really low and destroyed. You destroy a people's health, you ain't getting anywhere. So how about that Wi-Fi in public schools? Mr. Israel, right here. Mr. Great Supporter of Israel. Now all of you Trump supporters, you know Israel has infiltrated our government. You know how evil is the Israeli government, not Jews, the Israeli government. And this guy is like Netanyahu's puppet. What? You support this? Really? He's making America great again? While he acts like Netanyahu's puppet? Israel got Wi-Fi out of schools. You don't think this guy knows that? The rollout of 5G, a national security priority, he makes it. And whenever I bring up to a Trump supporter, 
5G, this guy, helping the telecommunications industry roll it out. And we all know that 5G, that is the nail in the coffin. That will bring the electronic grid prison to all of us, destroy our health even more rapidly than Wi-Fi. But I get no response when I bring up that to Trump supporters. So you are walking a low road. I'm sorry. Your consciousness is low. And you need to do the work necessary to lift yourself out of that low consciousness. And stop supporting this guy and only support the truth. When we are hit with so much information coming at us on a daily basis, 24-7, and it is informing us of, oh, I'm going to throw out a crumb here, and I'm going to tell my base that I'm, I'm building that wall when that's all I've said so far. I don't even think construction has begun, but you have to also then look at the history of the wall. Oh, my God, Reagan. Uh, it was Reagan. He gave 3 million illegal immigrants immunity, but then soon after... There was talk about the wall being built, and I can't remember exactly, you know, the chron chronological order of everything being taken place. But the wall has been an issue that periodically has come up, beginning in the 80s, maybe even before then, but that's as far as I got. Um, and, uh, you know, what has been built? Almost nothing. Now, we have... We have, we don't need to build a wall. We can now use 5G, the active denial system, to keep illegal immigrants out. But when I mention that to a Trump supporter, no response. No response. Because you need to believe that this guy's going to fix it. So that you can sit back and do nothing. And you're still the child who's looking up to the narc dad. Believing, believing child, children, they have to believe in their incredibly evil parents because their survival counts on believing whatever mommy and daddy say. And that's how a lot of Americans look at their government officials. And they behave in accordance with what their government officials say. Because without their government officials, oh my God, their survival is threatened. Because they have not done the work necessary to bring out their own individual power and recognize that they are the leader that they have been so wanting and hoping for, longing for, it's within you. Um, you know, look at this guy who, he's bringing back the neocons. He brought back the neocons, John Bolton. Why? Because he's Israel's puppet. U.S. Crimes Against Humanity, President Bolton threatens to sanction the International Criminal Court. This is how these people act, okay? John Bolton, Trump's national security advisor, and basically the president of U.S. foreign policy, told the Federalist Society he would seek punitive sanctions against the International Criminal Court at The Hague if The Hague charges American soldiers who served in Afghanistan with war crimes. That's how we roll here. If the court comes after U.S., Israel, or other U.S. allies, we will not sit quietly. We will impose financial sanctions and go so far as to arrest members of the court. Wow. Okay. We will ban its judges and prosecutors from entering the United States. We will sanction their funds in the U.S. financial system, and we will prosecute them in the U.S. criminal system. How dare you 
come after us. Right. Because we have an agenda. And don't get in the way. And we don't care how evil and immoral is that agenda. Just don't get in our way or we will crush you or we will destroy your career. No, if you could get that let's Who is the state right. senator? You want to hear his name? We'll destroy his career. <laughs> Trump commits U.S. to indefinite military presence in Syria. There are Trump supporters who post videos and some leave comments. Trump got us out of Syria. Trump got CIA out of Syria. Where the hell did they come up with these? What, what, really? No, we're in Syria indefinitely. And in fact, yeah, you know, we're ready to bomb again. Bolton warns next chemical attack by Assad will lead to much stronger strike on Syria. And unbelievably, Trump says he doesn't need a fake chemical attack to bomb Syria. This guy has taken so many unconstitutional um, acts that, well, clearly a lot of Trump supporters do not care about the Constitution. They care about Trump. They support Trump. They don't support the truth. They don't support the Constitution. They don't support international law. They don't support um, children. And I'll get to that in a minute. The non-interventionist president, right? That's how he campaigned. Unnecessary wars. He has, well, I'll get to it. it you know, liars create a lot of work. A lot of work you have to do with liars because once they lie well you can't you can't believe them you question everything else that they say and when you have somebody in a position of power like the United States president you really have to then with everything that they say you've got to do an awful lot of research to find out if they're lying or not just listening to liars speak and then you go Carol look at all of the fabulous things that he has done but you haven't looked into all of those fabulous things well then you are a confused American who is just a traumatized child wanting to believe daddy yes this is a war and you know what it is a war that demands we grow up and become adults. And that requires an awful lot of work. But um, he's ready to give the go-ahead to kill more people in Syria. The corporate script reading media is providing the sort of necessary propaganda required to get the American people in the mood for mass murder. Yeah, we had Hurricane Florence. You want to think distraction? Right here. What's going on in Syria? Again. But there's no evidence. No evidence. We, uh, Obama, Trump, bombing of Syria, the claims that Assad used chemical weapons, all the evidence points to the CIA. But no, we're going to believe the lie because we're traumatized children. who believe they're evil parents. No evidence. Once again, we are blaming Hassad for a chemical attack and, oh, there's intelligence. Nobody's named, not even an intelligence agency, but hell, we'll just say it, because that's all the American people need. Nikki Haley is a disgusting disgusting, despicable. I, I, it's hard for me to even look at the faces of these people. You want to talk, you want to talk a puppet for Israel. Wow. South Carolina, first state. Let me pull that up. Here, the first state 
South Carolina, of all states, to pass an anti-Semitism bill. Making it law in South Carolina that you can never criticize Israel because any criticism of Israel is equated with anti-Semitism. And it could not be so unbelievably scary is this legislation, but clearly a directive from Israel and no doubt worked through Miss Nikki Haley, who has been a big supporter of Israel in, in the uh, United Nations. But to all of those who say it's the Jews, it's the Jews, it's the Jews, none of what we are facing, none of what has manifested in this country would have manifested if most Christians, sorry to say this, were not the fake-ass Christians. You know, you have been the majority, Christians. You have been the huge majority. 93% until recently, you're still a huge majority at 74%. What the hell happened? That tiny little segment of our population so corrupted the moral core of American Christians. All of those who are blaming the Jews recognize that there's an awful lot of Jews who are very opposed to what Israel is doing with all of their human rights abuses. Even in this article, you know, um, here, Joshua Cooper, a professor of mathematics at the University of South Carolina at Columbia, told Al Jazeera he opposes the law not only because it stifles free speech and academic debate, but also because it violates the values of his Jewish faith. The law will chill free speech on campus when a robust debate is desperately needed. Barry Treckenberg director of the Jewish Studies program at Wake Forest University, who teaches a course on anti-Semitism, Semitism, said there should be clear distinctions between actual anti-Semitic hatred and legitimate criticism of Israel. And Cooper also said the bill identifies Jews with Israel. As a Jew, I don't want to be associated with Israel's human rights abuses. The majority of Jews are just like the majority of Americans. Number one, they have no clue what the hell is going on. Number two, they're just as self-centered. They just want to live their own uh, comfortable life. Leave me alone. Three, a minority of Jews are actively working to prevent the abuses of their own government. American Jews, there are a minority who actively work to try to get this world to be a better place. Just like a minority of Christians and a minority of Americans, there is a minority of Israelis out there fighting their own government and what their own, the evil that their government is doing. So stop, please, saying it's the Jews. And you know, every single time I get a comment like that, I think to myself, wow, that little, little tiny segment of the population here in America, they just had so much power and they have so corrupted everybody. Well, clearly, if that were the case, that little, little tiny segment of the population sure did have a lot of power to corrupt 93% of the population. You know, I get comments, Jews lie and steal. Really? And Christians don't. Okay. Um, you got to wake up. You've got to begin 
to work on yourself and get your thinking uh, more clear and on a track of truth. And if you can't do that, you will absolutely be on the wrong side in this fight. So, yeah, all right, Trump appoints Bolton, the neocon. We're ready to go back into Syria. Um, God. Yeah, passing that anti-Semitism bill. I absolutely think Nikki Haley had a lot to do with it. Nikki Haley used to be the governor of South Carolina. And what this woman says on the floor of the United Nations. Americans, you know, I, I just, do you not understand that these people represent you? Now, a lot of people will say they don't represent me. Yeah, they do, actually. On the world stage, they do. And they are the most disgusting, despicable, immoral creatures. Do we not deserve better? Well, as abused children, they don't really think that they deserve much of anything. Uh, Trump says he doesn't need a fake chemical attack to bomb Syria, so he's getting ready to bomb Syria again. Emboldened by Trump, Israel bombs Damascus Air International Airport. This was posted today. Israel bombing Damascus International Airport. Trump, yay. Yay, yay, yay. If Israel does it, we support it. Kill those Palestinian children. Does Trump say anything about that? No, he defunds the. Uh, it's a Palestinian human rights organization. I think um, under the umbrella of the United Nations. I can't remember exactly what the organization is. Trump said no more money. No more money. We want to get rid of you because Israel wants to get rid of, rid, rid of you. So that's the way it's going to go. Trump. This is Trump. Let's destroy careers and let's kill children. I don't remember voting for United States bombs to murder little kids in Yemen. Busload of children killed with a bomb made in the USA. Oh, those bombs. Hmm. Oh, that's right. We sold them to Saudi Arabia. Oh, and we support Saudi Arabia. That evil tyranny that is has demonstrated human rights abuses off the charts. Oh, but we support them. Why? Well, when the narcissist has an agenda, they don't care what the other person does. We'll support you if you agree to our agenda. Yeah? The means justifies the ends. So we'll kill children. Oh, but we love children, don't we, Americans? Clearly not. We've been ch killing children left and right, either directly or indirectly. U.S. made, sold bomb that killed Yemeni children. And we support Saudi Arabia. We're going in there and we're starving those in Yemen. On Thursday, United Nations humanitarian official in Yemen, Lisa Grant, said war in the country continues taking an incalcul incalculable human toll, uh, a really big human toll, um, and you can't calculate it. <laughs> uh, conditions deteriorated dramatically in recent days. Families are absolutely terrified by endless terror bombing and shelling, countless numbers losing the struggle to survive daily, and Trump regime? Go for it. How do you support this man? 
Get real. Come on. Mike Pompeo deceived Congress, claiming the Saudi and United Arab Emirates regimes are undertaking demonstrable actions to reduce the risk of harm to civilians and civilian infrastructure. A bald-faced lie. We listen to lies all the time. But if those lies work for you, you're going to hear it as the truth. On Wednesday, Pompeo press statement turned truth on its head, claiming the Trump regime considers ending the conflict in Yemen a national security priority. You can read what he said. It is a lie. Trump and UK regime hardliners are facilitating daily slaughter, starvation, and overall deprivation supporting endless aggression and genocide, opposing diplomatic com uh, conflict resolution. And this has been going on for years. Years. That we have been part of the destruction of innocent people in Yemen. Killing children, not just in Yemen, but all over. So, you can read this article, you can do your research, Adelson, Adelson's perfect little puppet, Adelson, Israel, 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 Trump, great friend of Sheldon Adelson, um, and gave an awful lot of money to Trump, and Adelson works for the Israeli agenda. And Adelson gets Trump to push its agenda. You think Trump's working for you? It's bullshit. He's working for Israel. Every 12 minutes, the United States drops a bomb somewhere. This is the man you support. Donald Trump dropped 44,096 bombs last year which works out to be 121 bombs. That works out to be 121 bombs a day. And that works out to be 12 bombs a minute. This is the guy that you support. And there is no legal justification for the dropping of these bombs. We are a rogue nation. It's unfortunate that we have so much military might, but we are a rogue tyranny today. And this is the guy they decided to let uh, lead this rogue nation, Donald Trump. We are a criminal nation. Washington, D.C. is filled with criminals. And this guy is the puppet that comes out and pretends that he's the leader of the criminal organization, the Washington Mafia. And in terms of the economy, the American dream is getting smaller, and the reason why is painfully obvious. The middle class is being destroyed. All the bullshit you hear from Trump himself, Trump, Mr. Narcissist, he has been forever claiming he is great. And he's putting out statements that could not be more false. The economy is stronger than it ever has been. Ever. Really? Wow. What a friggin' miracle worker you are, Mr. Trump. In less than two years, you just turn that economy right around and you got uh, more Americans working and the unemployment is so low and the G uh, uh, GDP is, is strong and it's sustainable according to his senior economic advisor and it's never going to stop and, 
everything's just wonderful again. And if you don't look into the details, wow, you're going to be feeling pretty good about Trump, aren't you? And pretty good about America again. And you're going to be thinking, wow, America is, it's being made great again. When the hell have we ever been great? We have been evil from the start. You know, sorry, but You're, you're, you're doing the confirmation bias thing. You just want information that supports your take on what's happening. Doesn't matter if it's a lie. So please don't claim that you are about the truth. And frankly, at this point, I really, uh, there's not too many comments that bother me anymore. If you're not guided by truth, you will, you will inevitably be part of this nightmare. You, you can't, there's no way that you can get to be permanently on the good side without being guided by the truth. And that includes your own truth. That's the part that Americans go, I don't think I'm going there. Well, if you don't go there, you will be the adult child forever. Um, yeah, many economists still saying the economy is coming down. When they want to bring it down, they're going to bring it down. Now, we know the economy is deliberately engineered, steered by the bankers, by the Federal Reserve. We know that, right? So, how did Trump get in there and fix the economy so quickly? Wow, he really is fighting that deep state, huh? Bankers and tech executives know the collapse of society is coming and are feverishly prepping for it. The Trump administration reportedly lied to Americans about domestic poverty. Yeah, that, hey, yeah. Did you hear Trump last week? Poverty. Poverty is, is, is almost ending in the United States. Really. All a lie. Bold-faced lies. Trump lags behind his predecessors on economic growth. Bold-faced lies. It's like Obama claiming that he um, that he protected whistleblowers, and he was protecting whistleblowers like no other president ever did. It was a bold-faced lie. He was hitting whistleblowers with the Espionage Act. Yes, salesman Trump. You have a used car salesman as a president, but you won't see it. Because you need to believe that America is being made great again. You need to believe that somebody else is going to fix this problem. You need to believe that this one guy is on your side when evidence every single day is coming out that he's not. And 5G is really the that huge flashing neon line, neon sign that is telling you he ain't about you. He's working for Israel doing what Israel wants him to do He's given more, more money to Israel than any other president. And he's throwing you crumbs so that you can chew on a little bit of what? It's like a cookie. I'll throw you cookie crumbs. 
so that you're made sweet again. Used car salesman who blows himself up, who credits himself with being just like great. He sounds like really just this high school bully lies to you all the time but as as children who are abused in that family system they become so beaten down and degraded that they cannot act in their own best interest and that's where we find Americans today the large majority have no clue how to act in their own best interest. And they pretend they're adults. But really, they never grew up. So, look, you know, it was time years ago. We've been so out of time now. You know, and I listen to the QAnon people, and I listen to, you know, all these people. Well, look at what he's done. He's brought down pedophile rings. Do you really think that this guy gives a shit about children when he's killing them on, with all of the bombs that he's dropping? You know, people demonstrate very clearly their contradictions. But when you want to believe somebody's good, you will ignore all that they do that shows you that they're not good. And there's a lot, I've read articles, not recently, but I have read articles, you know, those who are claiming that this guy and his law enforcement has been taking down these um, human trafficking rings and pedophile rings. If you look at the actual facts a lot of the people being arrested are arrested for prostitution that they're not actual pedophile rings I just heard you know somebody post a video on this huge pedophile ring somewhere you've got to look into everything just don't believe everything that you hear. And I'll end with this, which I've said before. We've had Facebook and Google and YouTube and social media platforms for a really long time now. They have been collecting data on each and every one of us. They collect the data on social media. They know that people are getting really tired of the fake news. They know that people recognize the mainstream media lies. They know that people were posting on these pedophile rings. They know that people were posting on Common Core, angry about Common Core. They know that people are posting on vaccines and the anti-vaxxers who were coming out saying that the vaccines are poisonous and are destroying our children. What did Trump campaign on? He campaigned on all of those issues. He got you all worked up just like Obama did with all of the horse shit that he spouted during his campaign. Trump did the same thing. It was only a different uh, category of spout of horseshit. So, you know, I get comments from Trump supporters. He's the one who brought out that mainstream media is fake news. No, he wasn't. No. We were all on here years before talking about the fake news, mainstream media. He just played you with that because he got all of the intel 
on where Americans were, what their views and opinions were. There was a profile. There's a profile for each and every one of us, and then there's a collective profile. And boom, your puppets come out and speak the good tune. That'll get you rah rah. Yeah, I'm voting for that guy. And whether it's because you don't want to feel the betrayal, that is hard. Or whether it's, you know, you're still in that, oh, let somebody else fix it, you know, condition. I don't know. But you'll believe what you want to believe. And you won't believe what you don't want to believe. But you ain't about the truth. There's no truth in that. So either you're going to pull, pick yourself up and really then get on to that level of consciousness where you are guided by principle, you are guided by truth. And frankly, to all of the Christians out there, truth, Jesus, God, love, they're all the same. They're all the same. So there's an awful lot of Christians out there who are not guided by truth. And it is absolutely 100% true that everybody can, if they do the work, the personal work that's necessary, that self-reflection, that reevaluation of their beliefs, the self-examination of their own self and face the truth of what they are living, face the truth of, okay, am I living what I say? You know, do I do what I say? Do they match? And, well, if I love Jesus, am I living as honestly as I possibly can? Do I speak the truth? Do I support immoral people? Do I support people who want to destroy other people's careers? Because, well, those people want to actually protect Americans from these criminal law enforcement agencies. Can I support people who lie and kill children and drop bombs on innocent people? Because if you can, then you're not about the truth. And you all know that Jesus is about truth. So there's your own contradiction. There's your own pretense. There's your own living of a lie. And yes, it is very, very important to face your own self-deception. Because if you can't do that, then you're living in Disneyland. You're not living in reality. You're living in a made-up fantasy of what you think the world is. But it's not real, and it's not the truth. All links are below.